so my name is Gemma Jarvis. Uh, in the swimming world, I was known as Gemma Lowe because uh, I got married to another swimmer, Callum Jarvis, um, who just retired from swimming last year. Um, and during my swimming career, I swam in two Olympic Games. So I swam in Beijing 2008 uh, and London 2012. Uh, so home games, so absolutely amazing. Um, I broke a British record, which I still have, in the 200 metres butterfly um, short course. Um, and obviously, I had quite a long career from being in a swimming club, first starting out as a young swimmer, um, did all the international elite competitions, so World Championships, Commonwealth Games, Europeans, Olympic Games, made Olympic finals, uh, went through that whole journey. Um, lots of ups and downs, as you can imagine. Um, and then I retired from competitive sport in 2016, uh, at the age of 26. Um, and now coming out of swimming, I really enjoy passing on my experience as a swimmer um, and helping you know young swimmers with their journey and hope to get the best out of theirs and hopefully have a happy, exciting journey because that's what sport is about. Um, Kike Anunobi. I work as a forensic and general adult psychiatrist um, in the UK. I work in Doncaster. Um, I've been you know, psych training and working in psychiatry since 2003. So I have over 20 years experience, about 20 years experience um, working in mental health. Um, I've had a broad-based training in both adult, um, old age, child psychiatry. And I decided to specialize in both adult and forensic psychiatry. Um, currently, I work in a forensic mental health unit where you have people that have committed serious crimes, but the crimes were committed because of their mental ill health. Um, I have a big passion for mental health. I, I believe that anybody and everybody can be helped to live optimally, as optimal as they can for their own mental health. I believe that we all have it within us to live life well. And the mental, nobody is, um, nobody is um, exempt from mental ill health. At one time or the other, we would all go through it. But everybody has the ability to live happily and at peace and to have mental health. I want to, one of my life's missions is to give it the stigma that surrounds mental health. Um, my name's Claire. I'm uh, one of the uh, welfare officers at Sangwell Swimming Club. Um, I'm newly appointed, um, just been in post about four weeks, um, but I've been a part of the swimming club for nine years or so. One of those roles is a coach. Um, I'm no longer coaching and saw the opportunity as a welfare officer and it sits very much in line with my day job. So in the day I work in a secondary school um, as part of the safeguarding team. So uh, yeah, so the two jobs cross over nicely. I'm Keith Eddy. Uh, I'm an independent safeguarding consultant. Um, essentially, my background has been a, a, as a retired uh, police officer. Uh, I did 30 plus years. Um, most of which was actually spent in uh, child protection, child safeguarding, uh, dealing with um, uh, multiple kind of area and, and low level concerns, but going up through kind of um, significant concerns to children, more significant concerns involving uh, all the abuse uh, categories, etc. Also dealing with uh, multiple child murders uh, and suspicious child deaths on, uh, on children. Um, over the years, I've dealt with quite uh, a number of uh, cases within sport, uh, particularly. Uh, by those involved with you know, people in positions of trust, etc. So, um, done an awful lot of work with uh, in on a multi-agency forum. Uh, really, actually, I chaired uh, and, and helped set up the first London Smash, the multi-agency safeguarding hub. Um, so, worked on that for three years as well. Uh, I'm a serious case reviewer uh, for local authorities. Uh, more recently, um, I've since my retirement, I've been involved in specifically working with uh, a number of uh, you know, national uh, governing bodies in sport, both large national governing bodies and small uh, NGBs as well, uh, which have all got their own uh, issues and uh, and um, uh, demands on resources, etc. But um, it's been very enlightening actually doing that work uh, across that uh, that area. I also work in leisure for leisure facilities as well. Uh, so that's uh, that's kind of me. Um, I suppose one particular aspect is that I 
I was an age group swimmer. Um, I also compete regularly uh, Masters. I'm a former um, joint British and European record holder uh, in Masters swimming. Um, so very much used to being around the pools and uh, still regularly train. Uh, my name is Ed Sinclair. I am an ex-international swimmer. I swam Europeans, Worlds, and then went on to swim at the Olympic Games. My career in swimming was over 10 years, around 10 years. After I retired from swimming, I then went into coaching. I picked up my stopwatches and have been coaching ever since. So I've been coaching now for about 17 years. Uh, during that time frame, I've worked, I've been really lucky. I've worked in uh, elite academies. I've worked in clubs. I've worked in schools, so I've got a really good sort of understanding and, and knowledge over that period of, of um, what the swimming is about, especially in the UK and the structures. I also do uh, also run a company called Maximum Performances. We do swim consultancy, we run swim clinics, and we give back to the sport. So we run uh, our workshops on technique, we run our workshops on racing, we run our workshops on mental health, we run our workshops on lots of different areas of swimming. And it's really, really important, I think, for me, just giving back to the sport that I'm absolutely passionate about. So my name is Dino Nocciavalli. I'm a lawyer and partner at Lead A Solicitors. I specialise in representing abuse survivors um, from different areas of society, but especially within sports. Yeah, so my name's Jake Brown. I'm a performance psychologist and founder of Mindframe Performance. So we're a sport and performance psychology consultancy that help people try and enjoy their sport first and foremost more, but also try and enhance their performance by helping them with mental tools, techniques, and running through different sessions to really help optimize their performance and how they view their sport and their perceptions around it. So a lot of people don't really know what sports psychology is. It's uh, it's a bit of an elusive area and don't actually know what it looks like. Um, so we work mainly online at the minute. We work with loads of different sports, loads of different issues. But the most common area that we work in is performance anxiety, especially with swimmers. So we often, I'd say around 80% of our work is helping individuals with performance anxiety to be able to better manage their thoughts, better manage their reactions, physiological response and behaviors. So like we said, they can improve their performance and improve their enjoyment as well.